Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Miguel and in this video I would like to talk about functions and procedures. And I have to say that this topic is extremely important and you should take a closer look at this video and maybe read some articles in the internet. Even if you already know what functions and procedures are because you may only know the surface. In this video I would like to answer two questions. So what are functions and procedures and why should you use it? And last but not least I would like to show you implementations in Lazarus and Delphi. So we will use a basic declaration and forward declaration and interface declaration and even an interface declaration inside in class. So it's getting a bit complicated and I hope this video does not cover too much theory but the information are so needed for programming that you really should take a look at this video. So the first question is what are functions and procedures and therefore we have to understand what routines are. A routine is defined as a piece of code that performs a functionality. So for instance loading a level or generating a formula. And a procedure is a declaration of a routine. For instance the procedure or the procedure load level. And the procedure load level will cover all pieces of code that perform the functionality load level. But a procedure could also be a bit more complex and have some parameters. Like in this example I have a level ID of the data type integer. And a function is a procedure that returns a value and this value or result is a part of the definition. So for instance I have this function calculate plus and this function needs two numbers of the base type integer and will return another integer. Actually it will just return the plus calculation. And functions are extremely useful and we will take a look at this function later on. But you may ask yourself why should, uh, I'm sorry, and the integer, this integer is the result type. And you may ask yourself why should I use it and the answer is because it's actually really important and necessary. For instance if you're calling a routine at multiple places of your code and therefore let's just take a look at our last video. We had this um, routine which generated a random formula. So we generated the first random number, the, sec the second random number. We generated a random operation which could be plus, minus or multiplication. And we also wanted to show our score in panel score. And we needed this routine at multiple places. So we wanted to start the application with a random generated formula. So we had to execute this routine at the start of the application. But we also had to execute this routine after typing in the correct result. Because our user should continue with a new formula. And therefore we have done something really cool. We have done a procedure. And every time when we wanted to use this procedure, we just have to call generated formula. And we did it in form create and in our button click event. So that's really cool. Because we have saved redundancy. That means we did not wrote this routine two times in our source. We wrote it just one time inside a procedure and every time when we needed this routine we just called the procedure. And that's really really helpful because you can write down better code and even save quite some work. For instance let's say you have to add division to this application. Then you would have to modify two routines and maybe even more. So two locations. But if you're using a procedure or function you just have to modify this procedure and function and this will take a global effect. And that's really important. 
And last but not least, you are writing down easy readable code. That means if another person would like to take a look at your source, the person would easily understand form create because we are just saying randomize and generate formula. So again, really simple to understand. The second reason is that you could divide a problem into smaller pieces. For instance, let's say your problem is in complex game and you have to do multiple things. So you could divide this game into smaller problems, for instance, in one problem, load level. And you could even go a step further and subdivide load level into low textures, sounds, characters, stories and start game. So you could solve big problems in small pieces and again you could create easy readable code. Because if somebody wants to add another texture, this person will just modify load textures and not some crazy locations of your code. And now it's getting a bit tricky because now we are talking about the implementation. And in this example, I have my calculate plus routine or function and I'm using it to display 5 plus 4 in an edit. To do a declaration of my function, you have to write down the function inside the implementation and end area. So inside the implementation area, that means some somewhere inside here. To write down a function, you have to write function, the function name, maybe some parameters, and the result type. In this example, both are integers, the parameters and my result type. To access my result, you're just calling result and the result will be this result. And you could use this function by just executing it with the needed parameters and then it will return the value 9 which will be stored in my variable number and this variable number will be displayed in my edit component. But it's important where you do the declaration of your function or procedure because the compiler will read your source in this direction. That means it will start on top of the unit, go to the interface tile and then it's in the implementation area. And in this example, it will start with calculate plus and then it will read button one click. You cannot swap them around because if you do, the compiler will start with button one click and then the compiler will display an error message because it will start with number, numbers and integer, number should be calculate plus five and four. And at this point, it will show an error message because the, um, the compiler does not know what calculate plus is. So, um, Therefore, you have to move the function before your procedure or you're doing, in, for instance, in forward declaration. And to do in forward declaration, you just write down inside the implementation area the header of your function. So in my case, it's function calculate plus and all the parameters and result type followed by the keyword forward and then semicolon. And now the compiler already knows what the function is called, what parameters are needed and the result type. And then it could work with it and this will not cause an error message. But you could also do something called an interface declaration. And therefore you are copying your header inside the interface area. And this interface area starts with the keyword interface and ends with the keyword implementation. So somewhere inside here. And in my example, I have just done it right under my tform class. And 
When you do an interface declaration, you don't have to use the forward keyword. So that's really simple and useful and a great advantage is that you could use these functions from other units. But this is something for future videos. And now I would like to show you what I want you to do and this is in declaration inside in class. So somewhere in the interface area, so between interface and implementation, you should have in class of the type T form because we have already we have only created graphical applications um, you should have this kind of class T form and let me just zoom in and in class is something quite difficult and we will talk about in future about classes in future videos so I will just give you some information and I would like to talk about classes later because classes could be quite complex. But what I want you to do is I want you to do your declaration inside private or public. And therefore again you're just copying the header like you would do on a normal interface declaration. The reason is that I guess that you normally want to access your components on your form and the components are defined inside this class. So in my example I have button1 and edit1 and I even have a procedure called button1click. And this way allows that you can simply access your components and therefore I would recommend to do your declaration inside your class. Moreover it's also a logical thing. So if you're creating procedure that have something to do with your components these procedures are part of your class and should be um, declarated inside this class. I know that this topic is extremely complex but also extremely helpful and needed for programming. Every programmer should be able to write down procedures and functions and also know why something is not running correctly or why a kind of declaration is causing problems. We will talk about classes in future videos, so we are not finished with our Lazarus tutorial series. We still got quite some stuff to do. And I hope that you understood this video and I hope that I did not talk about theory too much. Actually this whole video is just theory, but this um, theory is extremely important and needed. I hope you understood everything. And I would like to hear some feedback. Bye.